Onk Live Insights is a video editorial program produced by Onk Live. What's really interesting is that there's a number of genomic assays right now um, that are coming to the plate that may help us kind of select people based on their prognosis. So Biotheranostics has come up with a, a test called Breast Cancer Index that actually uh, appears to outperform both the 21 gene assay as well as the 70 gene assay uh, in uh, performance between predicting uh, recurrence between years 5 and 10. So if you turn out to be like high risk or intermediate risk by that assay, you have a five-year recurrence rate between years 5 and 10 of about 13 percent, whereas if you're low risk by that assay, it's only like 3 or 4 percent. Therefore, I think it's a lot of us are thinking about using uh, those assays. I think what's really holding us up right now is whether the payers are going to pay for them. And I think, you know, as we kind of talk to payers, people like me do talk to payers a lot about, you know, the, the risks and benefits of these sort of assays, I think that um, we may get some movement and there may be some acceptance of that because I think it's important um, that, you know, we're trying to make the decision that tamoxifen isn't totally benign. There is going to be a certain rate of endometrial cancer, a certain small rate of endometrial cancer, a certain small rate of um, blood clots. And I think that um, we have to recognize that, that, you know, that's the trade-off, a lowered risk of recurrence, but a slightly increased rate of those two complications. So I think that I'm okay with uh, the 10 years in selected patients is the bottom line.